Will President Trump tap a Texan as his next Supreme Court nominee? Don Willett is on a list of two dozen people the president said he would choose from. Jack Fink is taking a look for us and is live right now in Dallas. Hey, Jack. Hey there, Ken. President Trump nominated Don Willett to the federal bench last year. The question now is, will the president want to promote him? Willett was once called the tweeter laureate of Texas by state lawmakers, but a couple of his past tweets came under fire. Certainly assure you. Judge Don Willett, the only Texan on the list of President Trump's potential Supreme Court picks, has served on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit for nearly six months now. Dallas attorney Britta Stanton says his opinions are written in the same style he used during the 12 years he was a Texas Supreme Court justice. Anyone, any person, lawyer or not, can pick him up, read the introductory paragraph, and understand what Justice Willett is saying. During his confirmation hearing for his new job, he was grilled about two of his past tweets. One about a California transgender law allowing a teenage boy to play on a girl's softball team, in which Willett wrote, go away, A-Rod and another tweet about recognizing a constitutional right to marry Bacon. He said he wanted to have a little levity at a time the country was so polarized about same-sex marriage. Raphael McDonald of the Resource Center, which helps the LGBTQ community in Dallas, wasn't amused. You go before a judge and you believe that judges are going to be unbiased, whether they come from one political party or another. I think that Don Willett is a very fair-minded man. Kathy Adams, a conservative who's known Willett for years, disagrees with the criticism. If he had, on the other hand, um, made a very pointed statement, um, that might be something. But, I mean, this is in jest, and I think that we should see it that way. Willett Promise hasn't tweeted since he started on the federal bench in early January. You get a lot more scrutiny as a federal judge. And because he's a federal judge and it's a lifetime appointment, he doesn't have to run for office like he did when he was a state Supreme Court justice. And Stanton says because of that, he may no longer feel the need to tweet and keep his name out there. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.